I welcome everyone to our YouTube channel Yeo you Career Connects. In this video, we will see what are the steps after the document verification by university and the fees payment. That is how to do freezing or how to do upgradation or how to cancel or withdraw the admission. So either of these three we can choose. Before going deep into this video, if you are new to our channel, you can subscribe our channel. Our channel is the only channel to view. I share counseling videos and agriculture education videos in English since 2021. So you can share our channel with your friends also. If you log into your dashboard in icradmission.com, so here it will be appearing the status like admission verification status. It will be like verified and verification remark will be verified and found correct. Here only I am clearly mentioning that this verification time is up to 4th October. So university may verify before this time. If your document has been not verified by your allotted university before 12 p.m. of um, 4th then you can call your university and you can tell that your document has not yet verified. So that one you should take care but uh, now everyone is commenting that uh, your document has not verified what to do whether there is a problem like that and all there is no problem so you don't worry there are till two days time so you wait up to 4th 12 pm that is noon so after that uh, you can contact your university now there is no problem even though your documents are verified because officially the time itself not yet started but most of the university started verifying so some universities has not yet started so that university may verify tomorrow because today is holiday next day if you scroll down here once you did the payment how to do the payment we uploaded that video in previous uh, video so here after doing this payment here will be the option such as again it will be rank or document upload preview form allotment letter these four will not be useful to you now then again if you scroll down so here there will be another four options one is admission payment next is accept and turn accept or freeze admission upgradation cancel or withdraw admission so here i am clicking on this admission payment that is the 10000 rupee the 10000 rupee has been already paid by that candidate so here it came payment successful so here you can note down payment successful accept or freeze admission upgradation cancel or withdraw admission so here there are three chances as i mentioned in previous videos so first is accept or freeze admission so this is known as seat acceptation so this means you are accepting the seat or the allotted university so in which you have been allotted to under the course you have been allotted so this is known as this accept as freeze admission next is upgradation so here you are not willing in this uh, allotted college so you are wanted to participate in the next round counseling so that you can go for sliding that is we can go for uh, upgradation of any of the courses or the colleges that you have given higher level of choice filling so i explained everything clearly in previous videos only but uh, here again i am explaining because many are having this doubt so so for example you have been allotted to a 30th preferred college you have given 30 preferences so in that you have been allotted to 30th preferred college but you don't want that college and course so now you want any of the colleges above this preference like 20 or 10 or 1 like that so for this you can go for upgradation but you cannot go for the colleges next to 30 like 35 or 40 like that only you can upgrade that is you can go up to the higher level so this is known as upgradation but this may be upgraded only based on the availability of the seats so in some cases the seats may be rejected for some of the candidates due to ineligibility or someone may got uh, upgradation like that many things are there based on those criteria this upgradation will be given next is cancel or withdraw admission so you don't want uh, this admission or you have to cancel this admission but the eligibility of the mop-up round stands um, question mark here because uh, here uh, in this information bulletin they have mentioned that the candidates who already admitted are withdrawal so here itself they mention if you are withdrawing this admission then you are not able, eligible to participate yeah. withdrawing the admission then you are not eligible to participate in the mop up round so there are three options now so i will explain one by one clearly first is seat acceptance or freeze admission so here if you click on that there will be the again application id allotted quota then application or course name college which college allotted how much amount you paid 10000 rupees so here also i am mentioning that for example you consider a university fees is 40000 here you are paying this uh, 10,000 rupees seat acceptance fees. So while going for the physical verification and the physical reporting or admission, this 10,000 rupees you no need to pay, you can pay only 30,000 rupees. This 10,000 rupees will be taken into your account only, that is uh, for admission. 
here will be the payment status and next is free submission so if you want to freeze admission if you click on this freeze my seat or send OTP so that OTP will be sent to your registered mobile number okay registered email ID so here they have given that registered email ID freezing of the seat is subject to final verification of document if still pending so freeze the seat but your documents is showing uh, not yet verified so these are the two things they have mentioned so once you enter your OTP from your registered mobile so then you can submit similarly here is for upgradation also so here if you click on this upgradation the similar thing will appear here then here there will be the option of upgrade my seat and if you click on this the OTP will be sent to that particular candidate and then if you enter that um, OTP then you can submit here this is a cancel or withdraw admission so if you click on this again the same options will appear here here also there will be the option of withdraw my seat or send OTP and um, as like previous things only if you want to withdraw your seat you can enter your OTP from the registered email ID if you click on here and you can submit so these are the three options that are available here including the fourth option I told if you want to participate in the mop up round so one is seat acceptance next is upgradation next is cancel or withdraw of the admission so I hope everyone would understood what are the options for these things so if you want to go for next round counseling you can go for upgradation if you want the allotted college or university and course then you can go for accept or free submission but if you don't want anything just i want to cancel my admission or withdraw admission you can cancel or withdraw the admission so these three things uh, you can do but if you give this cancel or withdraw admission you cannot participate in the mop up round if you want to participate in the mop up round you can leave without fees payment only that thing i forgot to tell you should not pay the fees itself before that only you should have left without paying paying the fees if you are living without paying the fees you are eligible for mop up round but if you done the fees payment you are not eligible for this mop up round itself after the verification by your allotted university the verification status will be found verified but there will be some of the verification remark so for this candidate they have mentioned like submit cap certificate at the time of admission so now there will be the question as we mentioned the verification remark whether i can eligible for upgradation of the next round like that because here they have mentioned at the time of admission only so now for these kind of candidates sure there will be the option for upgradation you can go for upgradation because in the previous steps that is uh, during upgradation or acceptance of freezing the seat there was a uh, two options mentioned uh, clearly in that that is one option was like uh, only for the freezing if any pending document is uh, need to be verified that it will be verified after that only you can go for seat acceptance or the freeze but for the second that is for upgradation they did not mention like that that second point was not there if any verification remark is found then you can go for upgradation but the risk is left up to you here for these candidates they mention like please please re-upload your original PDC of the last PG degree or upload original final submission certificate of last degree so here they have mentioned in the admission verification status also verified subject to additional documents so if you are accepting the seat or freezing the seat sure here also they will go for further verification of the documents then they will then only they will accept your seat here also the verification remark is like please provide provisional degree certificate for admission Sir, if you have to upload the PDC, ten thousand matum pay panni upgradation kurta and the seat ke edo problem antru ma sir so like that he asked so as per the options we have seen after the fees payment the students if you are having any doubt like this you can pay this fees and you can go for upgradation at the step of upgradation they have not mentioned like subject to further verification so there may not be problem for you but this option is also left up to your school 